Hi everyone, Tamara from IT Moon here, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own social media post for your company. So we use Canva for um, creating social media posts for our company and other companies that we work with. And I'm just going to run through the simple things that I do to make a social media post for your company. So first of all, you need to know what content it is you're making, and this is the content that I'm making. So I have an idea of what it is that the post is about. So this is about promoting other Facebook pages. I could either start off from a template that I've already got, but I'm, I'm gonna show you what I do. So I go to a Facebook post, it will take you to a blank canvas, and there's a lot of different templates to choose from. So what I usually like to do, I like to have a look through and decide what template works with the kind of post I want to make. You can literally pick any template you like. It's up to you at the end of the day, it's your taste. So I found a template that I like and what you're gonna do is click onto it and drag it into your black canvas and there you go, the template is there. Well, first of all, what I like to do is just adjust a few things. So for example, if the text is grouped up like this, right click it and click ungroup. That way you can actually edit the text separately. I want to get rid of this and put our company logo in. So what I do, I just go to an old post. So these are templates of what I've done in the past. And I'm just going to press Control C and then Control V. Cause you can paste elements between the posts. So I'm going to put the logo here and voila. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually work on, you know, making this look like our company's post. So we want to make it match our color scheme. If you don't have a color scheme, I very recommend you to have a color scheme for your company. That way your posts will always look the same. Like this, for example, it's, we've got a blue, purple, greenish color scheme and you can tell that it's our company because it's just based around that color scheme. You want to go with a color scheme that works. I highly recommend it. And if you haven't got a color scheme, I recommend searching up some examples and what colors seems to suit your style and the, the point of your company. To add your color scheme onto Canva, make sure you go to the color bit. So you need to anywhere really, just go anywhere and select the color and then scroll down and you should see add another palette. It will take you to this page where you can add more color palettes in. This is also where you can upload fonts by the way if you want to upload a custom font. But for this what you do you click add new palette and you add the colors there. You can paste in the codes if you've already got a color palette. If you refresh your page it'll be there. Don't worry it automatically saves. If you're not a big fan of animations you don't have to do animated pictures. So just a heads up some images are animated but this is an animated image so like i said i'm going to follow the color scheme we have and then i'm going to change the colors just to show it's more lightly from our company like we have a blue turquoise purplish color scheme if you have a certain font to use as well stick with the font you have otherwise if you want to use any other font this site offers a lot of different fonts and what's awesome about this is like you can easily shrink the text, you can easily stretch it. It's so easy to edit, it's really good. Usually I just copy a bit of the text from the content. So that way you have a bit of context. You don't want to post the entire content on one picture, you just want to post a bit of it. You want to attract the audience to read your post, so that's the main aspect. You can also bold some words, make it look more fancy, you can edit the text. I will do more tutorials specifically on certain areas of this, but I'm just doing a tutorial today on how I make these. So the next thing I'm doing, I went on the photos tab. You can go on so many tabs by the way. You can go on elements, you can go on text, photos, music, videos, background, etc. Even your own uploads. Like you can upload your own photo to add into the project as well. It is so simple to use. So I'm looking for a photo of something related to Facebook. You can search something related to Facebook. You need to have a membership to be using the pro pictures, but we do have the pro membership so we can actually use it. Feel free to use whatever image you're allowed to use and pick whatever you think works. The same thing as before, you click and drag it in. Like you just click and hold it over whatever you want it to be added to. 
So I think this matches with the point of the post and you can also edit the filter, which is pretty cool. I like this feature. You can make it black and white. You could, um, you could make it uh, very pretty. My personal favorites are Kali and the black and white ones. Kali one makes it look a bit more vintage and such a little bit. I like solar as well. Solar makes it more brighter. It's honestly up to you because a filter can make the slightest bit of difference. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a solar because it looks really nice and bright and professional. If you wanna add anything extra in, go ahead. You can add, um, let's go on elements, symbols, you can go on shapes, you can add symbols in, you can even copy and paste the symbols. And don't forget, you can change the color of the shapes to match your color scheme. Don't hesitate to look around for different effects and such. There's no shame in using animations as well, actually. There's no shame in using them. Like this works with the color scheme. I think this works with it. So I could add that over here to select on multiple elements what you do you select on something hold shift and click on something else so you can select on a lot of things and if you want to group these together right click and click group so you can move them together you can even delete them together which makes it easier for me you can even preview your animation by pressing play and it shows you what your animation looks like it's pretty cool there's something i could add to the bottom of this and this is from one of my old templates. So I'm going to go back. Like I said, control C. You can paste things from other templates if you want to. It is entirely up to you. And I'm going to ungroup this because I want to edit the text. I'm going to change the text white because the background's blue this time. We want it to, you know, be readable. And I'm going to change this icon to white this time. Don't be afraid to be creative and experiment with things. And just before we end the video, to save your image, you go up here to the upload icon. And depending what you made an animated version or a picture version, you'll have options of what you can download the file in. So because this is animation, I'm downloading the video version. I'm also going to download the GIF version because I don't know which one works better at the moment. So we're going to find out. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you want some more Canva tutorials, please let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for supporting our page, our company. It really means a lot to us. I hope you have such an amazing day. Bye!